And so, you know, again, Viso, Jalapa, just get a smell of that. Yeah. Beautiful tobacco. Nice. Yeah. You get that raisin, you get that sweetness. Oh, yeah. Agonorsa's warehouse uh, in Miami with Terrence Riley, the man behind Agonorsa branding, the man mo for most of you probably know behind Agonorsa as we've interviewed. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, pleasure. Here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so, so this he warehouse headquarters, what does it exactly work in the grand scheme of Agonorsa? So this is our distribution center for the U.S. Everything gets imported into here that we sell, our proprietary brands, Agonorsa Leaf, Guardian of the Farm, JFR, Lunatic. And then we also have uh, the product that we make for other people, such as like Foundation, Warped, the IA, yeah. and uh, that comes in here, that goes right out to them, wherever okay. they're based, and then the, our stuff stays here, and so we warehouse here. And we also do a little bit of rolling still here in Miami. Okay. We have uh, our, our roller, Elizabeth Rodil, who does some uh, event cigars and uh, some some various projects that we still do here. Okay, and that's, that's kind of what this is right here, rolling table, yes. such like that, okay. And so you have a small amount of production. There used to be bigger production here, right? Yeah, we used to, in fact, at one point, this is before even my time, but there was probably about uh, 12 rollers at one point uh, okay. that we operated out of here. Um, and then just as time goes on, uh, it just you know doesn't make sense to do it here. And with COVID, it made yeah. it really difficult. So we just have the one you know roller, uh, basically is a showcase to show what we can do. She rolls Cuban style, so it's all by hand. You know, no okay. Lieberman's involved. And, uh, but the rest is all in Nicaragua. Now, it, it's been awesome to see kind of Aganorsa like continue to grow. I mean, you guys have had quite a bit of growth in the last couple of years. Um, and the production of Aganorsa in terms of supplying just not even your own brand, but other brands is huge. And there's always the tagline of Aganorsa, your leaf is your strength. What, what is the main mentality you feel behind that? Our companies have usually three different things that they kind of focus on. It's either the cult of personality of somebody uh, who, uh, who's like the owner or the, or the brand manager, and that kind of drives the, the product. Then you have uh, uh, lifestyle companies, you know, where it's, yeah. it's really, you think of like a particular lifestyle associated with that cigar. Yeah. You know, product-based companies, where really the, pro the product itself is like what the main focus is. Yeah. It's, not the, it's not the owner, it's not, you know, some sort of lifestyle, it's really about the leaf. And so for us, it's the leaf. You know, I'm not promoting a lifestyle. Uh, I look like a <laughs> sell used BMWs. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, I'm not the owner. And so really, we have the leaf. And that's why people buy, buy tobacco from us, uh, whether it's Fuente, J.C. Newman, Drew Estate, Espinosa buys tobacco from us. They're coming to us because they love the leaf. And so yeah. that's what really makes us special. That makes us stand out. The fact that we have this, this, uh, this unique quality to our leaf that has a, right. a, a, a signature flavor and aroma. And that's what makes us special. So right now we are headed into the sort of like massive walk-in humidor situation where a lot of the Aganorsa stock is held and taking a look at some of the uh, raw tobacco that is also held in the same facility. So we're gonna take a look at uh, just the tobacco leaf as it is. So here we have, uh, this is uh, Corojo 99 from, uh, from Jalapa. The farm is called La Mia, which is a, a former farm of uh, Samosa, the dictator uh, of, uh, of Nicaragua in the 70s. La Mia okay. means like mine, you know, dictators, okay. they, they like stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> and so, you know, again, Viso, Jalapa, just get a smell of that. Yeah. Beautiful tobacco. Nice, yeah. you get that raisin, you get that sweetness. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, super. beautiful. And, I, I, and it's something too, I mean, it might be personal, but like the texture of the leaf is huge. The texture is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, no, again, that's, you know, class, that's, you can tell it's Viso, just the thickness, obviously, Hero is thicker, and then Seco is gonna be thinner. Okay. This is, uh, this is also, uh, this is Ligero, uh, Creo 98. Okay, and this so, is gonna be a stronger. Yeah, it's gonna okay. be a little bit more potent, a little spicier on the nose. Yeah. Oh man, yes, beautiful. Good stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now again, you know, to the naked eye, a lot of this stuff looks all the same, but then, you know, a different farm, different region, you, and when you're here, you're able to touch, you're able to smell. Yeah. You can start telling the differences between the, the yeah. and, and, and aroma. You can see a difference. And these these leaves here, are they for blending? Are they for fumas? Yeah, so we use these for fumas as well, for uh, Agnors Experience events, the things, yeah. you know, you're very familiar with those. And uh, also for what we roll here, we, we do rolls of cigars for events here with our roller, Elizabeth Rodil, and uh, she's a Cuban roller. 
all by hand, no use of the Lieberman. Um, and it, it's basically a showcase. 90% per, of what we do is in Nicaragua, but we do still do a little bit of you know, rolling here. Now, now, something interesting, especially because we're based in California, very dry climate. Yes. And so we're having to worry about that humidity. Florida is not the same. Very different. So uh, how does that like translate in terms of like cigar storage? Do you have to use dehumidifiers? Like how does that work? Yeah, I mean, here, like what you'll do is like, uh, you, you have to worry about obviously the temperature going high, uh, high temperature, high humidity, right. uh, especially humidity. Um, with the humidity, you can, it's, uh, you can get bugs. That's a problem. Sure, sure. Um, you can obviously have problems with the cigar staying lit. And, uh, so w we keep the humidity here. You know, they always say 70-70. Right, we're, right. We're usually going to be around 65 here. Okay. Only because that gives us some some leeway. Yeah. You know, that yeah. way, like when they open the door to the warehouse and the burst of humidity comes in, it's not suddenly going from 70 to 72 or whatever it is. Right. So so that's... that's uh, um, um, the challenge here. It's much less of a challenge. If you notice, if you go around to retailers in, in Florida, a lot of them, you walk in the store, there's no humidor. The store is the humidor. It's much, yeah. it's much easier to remove humidity than it is to keep okay. the humidity. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a bigger problem. So if you're in California and Arizona, Nevada, you couldn't possibly have a store where you just open the door, walk in, and that's, you know, the right. cigars are all over the place. Right. They're dried out. Uh, you can't do that. But here, it's a little easier to keep take the humidity away. Yeah, which is interesting because I know too, like certain tobaccos, like broadleaf and such, they hold that humidity a lot. Do you find with like certain blends, like certain cigars hold that humidity over certain other ones you have, or is it kind of even across the board? No, I certainly, again, like definitely Connecticut wrapper where humidity is, is kinder to you. Like uh, you get that cracking from uh, those thin, you know, Camerooners. We, we don't do Cameroon, but like that's a, a wrapper that would be a problem with, with, uh, with the humidity to being too low. Again, there's problems if you get too, too high, but like yeah. the, the more common problems are from lower humidity with the wrapper drying out and cracking or popping. Okay. You know, you ever smoke a cigar and pop, you get that pop. Yep. Like, yep. Ah, you know, it's just too dry. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's more the challenge uh, with those type of wrappers. And then, you, like you said, the thicker wrappers here are less of a problem because it's, you know, it's easier to kind of maintain that at the right temperature. Whereas, yeah. you know, uh, with the broadleaf, like you said, holding humidity longer, you might have to hold it a little bit longer, you know, okay. For, okay. For, for things like that. But uh, it also ring gauge that matters too. Like a bigger ring gauge is going to, you know, hold humidity for longer than a smaller ring gauge. So yeah. You have to be cognizant of that stuff. But generally speaking, you kind of keep it in conditions that in the vast majority of cases is going to be good for everything. Yeah. And it's awesome to see that this glimpse of like that, that really fine tuning and touch of quality throughout your guys' business. And I think this is a big key of why Aganorsa is what it is, because you have that flavor, but you also have the construction and quality added to it, especially in like cigar booms when you don't have really good like manufacturing side. So this is, I feel like just another side of Aganorsa. That yeah, it. It, it helps being uh, vertically integrated. So we can tr we get to control that. We, we, yeah. we, we're in control of the factory, we're in control of the farms, we're in control of this area. And that you, you can control your destiny uh, a lot easier when you have control of all those parts of it. You know? Yeah, definitely. So that makes it a lot easier. And then we leave it to you when we send you the cigars and you gotta take care of it for us. That's so you, right. The, the, the last <laughs> piece is you. Well, thank you guys for joining us here at Aganorsa. And this is just another reason of why, if you haven't tried Aganorsa cigars, check us out. We do carry their product for a very good reason. Their flavor, I feel like the Aganorsa signature flavor is in all your cigars and it's just, it's on point, so. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's a great stay of our lives, who would've thought. Yeah, exactly. Let's get an Aganorsa flex here. There we go.